Hello guys, it's Nicole here. It's been a while since I've done a video. As a matter of fact, it's been about six, seven months. Um, last time you guys saw Axel, he was a puppy. As a matter of fact, he looked a lot like that. Um, since then, he has had his ears cropped. However, one, he decided to be hard-headed and constantly mess with them. So one of them does not stand up all the way when he it flops over. Um, he can stand it up. However, he chooses not to most of the time. So as you can see, um, Axel has gotten pretty big. He is now 85 pounds. He is 10 months old. So he is still not full grown. And when you guys saw him last, he was a baby and we had just moved into our new house. So life was getting started. Now, since then, we got, well, let's start off with Loki. We bought Loki. Say hello, Loki. Hi. And he obviously is a German Shepherd. Now, Loki is from the German lines, which means his back does not slant a whole bunch. And he is a bigger bone Shepherd. Um, German lines are more of a show dog than a working line. Also makes him more laid back. So he is actually not completely lazy, but for a German Shepherd, I would say he's lazy. He is pretty big boy. Um, we got him when he was about 12 weeks old, but he is now six months old and a whopping 65 pounds. Last time he was weighed about a week ago. So he is going to be gigantic. Every bit of 100 pounds, I'm sure. Um, there's Axel again eating his food. Axel has to eat out of a slow feeder. Because Axel tends to eat too fast. And Dobermans, as well as German Shepherds, are susceptible to bloat. Um, Loki doesn't eat that fast. But... Axel does. So that being said, we don't want to have any, you know, unexpected vet visits or anything like that. So we take precautions. Now, this is Harley. Hi, Harley. Harley is a female. She is a full-blooded Doberman. However, as you can tell, her ears are natural as well as her tail. Um, Harley has had two litters previously, and I am happy to announce that her and Axel have tied several times, and we are looking at more than likely having pups around November 16th. So we will see, and I will keep you guys updated on her pregnancy and everything. Um, as of right now, it's way too early to be able to tell if she is pregnant. So that's going to come in about uh, three to four or five weeks or so. And like I said, I will keep you updated on that. And once again, she is purebred, just a natural Doberman um, without her ears cropped and her tail cut. We did not get her as a puppy. She was two year, two and a half when we got her, two, two and a half, somewhere in there. And we have had her for about, well, July, August, September, a um, little over two months, I would say, not quite three. But um, she's a good dog. She has, she was an outside dog her whole life. Um, so there are some things that we are working at with her. Um, she tends to be a little bit more skittish, but she, you know, is learning how to trust people and stuff like that. 
So you guys stay tuned and when the puppies are coming and we figure out more about her pregnancy and all that, I will be back to show you guys her belly and go over all the fun things and whelping and the puppies being born, that's whelping, um, and all kinds of cool things like that. And you guys probably wondering, well, you have two unfixed males in your household and a female that was just in heat. Well, a lot of people, including my husband, um, seem to think that you can't do that. You can, you most definitely can. Males, uncut males can live happily together. You just have to keep an eye on them and they have to learn the pecking order. Now, Axel here is a little bit more of a submissive male, although he is coming into his own more. Whereas Loki right here, who is six months old, as opposed to Axel, who is 10 months old, Loki is quite a bit more dominant. Um, and as he gets bigger, he will become more dominant. They are playing, by the way. You will see a lot of teeth, a lot of playing around, roughing, rough housing. Um, they do not play easy. You will hear a lot of that. It's just play, guys. Nothing to worry about. If I holler at them, they will stop. Hey, be nice. But um, they do this quite often. It's just playing, like I said. Boys, enough. Enough. Ah. And it quit. That simple. Um, Loki was, like I said, 12 weeks old when we got him. And the funny thing is, is Axel was eight months old. And he most definitely um, would not put up with Axel's crap, immediately was putting him in his place. Um, like I said, Loki just tends to be a little bit more dominant than Axel does. Um, both are wonderful with our kids. We have a three-year-old and a five-year-old. And um, they are both very gentle with them. Axel does tend to think he is a lap dog. So he is a little bit less um, in tuned with his boundaries as opposed to Loki right there. All right, boys, that's enough. Hey, ah, that's enough. Um, like I said, just play. Just play. Um, so I just wanted to update you guys a little bit and give you kind of a, another visual on Axel since he has gotten so big and introduce you guys to Loki and Harley. And as you can see, Harley kind of stays in her cage. She doesn't really come out too much. Not that she can't. As you can see, her door is open. She just feels comfortable in her cage. That's just the type of dog she is. Like I said, she was an outside dog her entire life. So that's what she's comfortable with. And we um, decided to give her a better life and bring her in and make her a part of the family because that's what we do. We don't agree with dogs not being part of the family. Um, whether you're breeding, not breeding, they should always be a part of the family. They should always be cared for to the top ability, just like any other dog would be. Um, they all get fed very well. They get fed high quality diet. They are breeders. Um, Loki, we have not gotten him a girlfriend yet. However, we will be soon. So we will be breeding him here shortly, probably within, if, I, if everything lines up the way I would like, he will be bred in the next three to four months. 
and have shepherd puppies on the way at that point. But I just wanted to give you guys a rundown. Um, one, about how, you know, two intact males can live together and be happy with each other as long as they know you are alpha and you are in control and they do not step over the boundaries. Boys! Um, every once in a while they have to be told, hey, you need to calm down, as you can see. They also get along with neo over here hey they like to play with him um but they do not hurt him and neo is the same way he will play with them um he rough houses with them from time to time and when he is sick of it he will walk away all right guys now that you have seen everyone and we have got a little bit of information down for you guys. I am going to go ahead and hop off of here. And hopefully we will have another video in a couple days. A little bit more about these guys and some information if you guys have anything you would like to know. Um, about either breed or anything, maybe breeding them or anything along the matters, then let me know, leave me a comment below and I will get back and do a video on the stuff that you guys are asking for. Until then, there's Harley, Axel and Loki. As you can see, these two are eating together. So there are no problems with knowing who's dominant and who's not dominant or fighting amongst the intact males. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Leave a comment below, subscribe if you don't mind. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video. See you later.